Hello guys, in the last videos we understood how to connect with Oracle database and how to do examples with Oracle database. That content we understood there in the last sessions. Now in this video we are going to understand how to work with MySQL database. How to work with MySQL database. Working with MySQL database. If you want to work with MySQL database, what we have to do? First, we have to download MySQL database. Second one is install MySQL database. Then after that, third one is after installation of this MySQL database, just open MySQL console, MySQL console and uh, perform database operations that means I need to provide overview then after that then prepare JDBC application to connect with the MySQL database that's it this many operations can we have to do so as part of this working with MySQL database that we have to do now as part of this first I want to show how to download MySQL database then after that I'll go for like what now how to install it the total process here we are going to understand. Now let's see this total part here. First of all, let me download this process. Right, how we are going to download this? Now let me open my browser. Right, Google it. Now here, now I want to search for, well, what I want to search for there? MySQL downloads. I want to search for it, MySQL downloads. Now we can observe this now. From where here we have to download this MySQL, not Amazon.com. For MySQL, we had already www.mysql.com website is available. www.mysql.com website is available. Right click on it, open a new tab. Just open a new tab here. Now, here we are getting mysql.com. Then, inside this, what we have to do there? Now, here we can go for at the end, we are able to get like what now? MySQL community GPL downloads. MySQL community GPL downloads link is available. Click on it. If you click on it, now here we are able to get like what MySQL community downloads and all the things here we are getting. MySQL community server, either we can click on this or else we can click on MySQL installer for Windows. MySQL installer for Windows. I want to get some setup file to install MySQL database. So let me click on it. If you click on this MySQL like uh, installer for Windows now, here we are getting two links. Windows x86 32 bit MSI installer. These are the installers only. That means .exe files only. Now this is like what no second one Windows x86 32 bit MSI installer that we are getting. So now here we can go for MySQL installer community 8.0.25 MSI or else web community also we can use. Now let me click on the second one here download. If you click on this download it is asking about Oracle account Oracle sign up. Actually MySQL is also be provided by Oracle as of now at present. Previously, MySQL is available with Sun Microsystems. Now it is available with Oracle Corporation. So, but I don't require to go for sign in. Just I want to start my download. No thanks. Just start my download. Just start my download. Now it is starting the downloading here. All right, sir. Just it is installer only. Here we are downloading installer. Just three minutes left. Now easily we can download it. All right, sir. Just meanwhile I am pausing this video for the sake of downloading it. Once the download is completed, then I will start it. Right sir, downloading is completed. Now here we are getting that setup file here. Show in folder. Let me go for this. Now here that very first one is community edition. Now here just I want to cut it. Then I used to keep all my softwares in a particular location in my system. I'll go for like what now, uh, like a softwares folder. Inside the softwares databases folder is available where I want to create a folder like what MySQL. MySQL. Inside this MySQL I'll paste this. This is my setup file. This is my setup file now. Now here I have to execute the setup file. If I execute the setup file, automatically installation process will start. Now let's see this. Let me execute this one. Let me click on it. It's going to start that installation process. Right. Please wait while the Windows config configures MySQL installer. Once that installation will start, again here what now click on S button. Once installation will start, in the middle it may take some time. Just we have to wait for that. Right, okay, click on S button. Right, MySQL installer 1.4. That installer version is 1.4, not MySQL version. 
MySQL version we will see that in a way. MySQL version is 8.0.25. MySQL version is what? 8.0.25 that we are using. Okay, just we have to wait for that. It will start that installation process. Once it is started in installation process in the middle it may take some time where again we are going to pass the video. But just we have to wait once that installation is started few steps a few times we have to click on next next buttons somewhere else we have to give the password also that I will show then after that that remaining installation is going on continuously right now nothing to worry then development defaults now just only click on next button default developer not required to check anything here please remember this in the installation process of this MySQL what we required here visual studio is required next one is like what no dot net framework is required internally but no need to worry for that if your network is connected with your system on flow while installation of this mysql automatically visual studio version will be visual studio software will be installed dot net framework is also be installed here we are not going to do anything for that just simply here we have to click on execute button if you click on execute button one by one one by one they are going to be installed all the forwards all these supportive things are going to be available that we are going to get anyway now let's click on this execute button automatically they are going to provide this one by one one by one all the things are going to be provided right just we have to wait for that uh, until the completion of this one meanwhile i'll pause this video and once again i will get it okay fine okay now it is asking like what in the middle microsoft visual c plus plus and something else no i agree the terms and conditions here click on install now it has to be installed first once it is completing that, then we are going to move for next buttons only. Only max next buttons in the middle. It is asking about like what no database. Now setup successful. Now close this one. Right side. Then click on next buttons clearly. Click on next buttons and some things are failed. No need to worry for that and it is going to be installed there. Now click on next button there. One of the more product required has not been satisfied. Okay. Fine. That's okay. Fine. Click on execute button. Ready to install. All the things are ready to install. Click on execute button here. Now they are going to be installed. One by one, one by one, they are going to be installed now. No need to worry for that. Once again, it may take some time. Just I am pausing this video, then wait for the next. Now all the things are executed here. Now click on next button. When you click on next button, then it's okay, fine. Once again, click on next button here. Right, sir. Now here, that, that part is very, very important. No? Whenever we provided this, here we have to enter some data. What data here we have to identify there? Some details here I have to talk with you regarding this. Now try to understand this, this window here what we are getting, config tag is development computer, that's okay, leave it. Right, DC web in, port number is what, 3306, the port number it was 3306, please remember this. In the future, in the case of Oracle database, what is the port number, 1521, 1521 is the port number, but here in the case of MySQL, what is the port number, no, 3306 is the port number, here. that we can understand. Pip name and memory name and all the things are okay, then click on next button. Click on next button, authentication method not required, just click on next button. Now here, MySQL root password and repeat password. So root account password here, enter the password for the root account. So please remember to store this password in a secure place. That's okay, fine, no problem. Now here, I want to provide like what no root, MySQL root, I want to provide. Password is what, again here I want to provide like what no root only. The password is also again like here what I want to provide root. Then password root. Then password strength is weak. No need to worry for that. Uh, root password here I want to provide and click on next. That means username is root. Password is also by provided root. That's it. Now click on next button. If you want to provide any user account, just click on add user. Then we can go for it. That's okay. But I don't want to create any user as of now. Just I want to use MySQL root. Password is like what now? Root and root. Username is root. Password is also be root. Click on next button. Right, sir. That's okay. Fine. Then everything is okay. Configure MySQL server as Windows service. Then everything is okay. Fine. Now click on next button only. Right, sir. Once again, here we have to execute all of them. Click on execute button. Once again, it may take some time there. We have to. I am going to pass this video. Just wait for the time. Wait right, for the next step. Right, sir. Database installation is completed here. Now we are, we are getting configuration for MySQL server 8.0.25 was successful. Click finish to continue. Just click on finish button there. That's okay. Now here, next to product configurations and click on next buttons. Right, sir. Now here, host name not required, port is 3306 and everything is okay. Click on finish button. Click on finish button. Again, click on next button. Now here, again here, connect to server. Username is root and password is also be root here. We have to provide. Password is also be root. Now if you want to click on check button, here we can provide the check button. Uh, right, sir. Now here, username is root and password is also be root here. Connect to the server and check. Click on check button. 
Now connection successful. Now click on next button. Here we are getting connection successful. That means username is root, password is also be root. MySQL server 8.0.25. That is working. Port is 3306. Access 64 architecture. Standalone server. That's fine. Click on next button. Right, sir. Then after that, apply configurations and everything is okay. Fine. Click on execute. Right, sir. Again, it may take some time. Just wait for the next. I'm pausing this video. Almost all completed. Wait. Almost all completed. Just click on finish button. Right, sir. Now it is completed. Product configurations are okay. Now click on next button. Right, sir. Installation complete. Now click on finish button. Almost all the installation is completed there. Click on next button. Right, sir. Whenever we click on next button, now here we are getting the shell. Now here we can observe this clearly. Directly here we open workbench. Directly we open workbench. Later on I will open this workbench and how to connect with workbench that I will show now. But as of now I don't want to use workbench. Later on I will show that how to connect with workbench now. So this is like what we completed here now. The total installation of the MySQL database we completed. That means downloading of MySQL database, installation of the MySQL database that we completed in this video. In the next video, I will show how to open MySQL database, how to work with MySQL database that I will show clearly.